Hey everyone, welcome back to POA for you. It's Leroy again, and today we are going to do the N level specimen paper 2021, paper 1, question 3. The topic is on trade receivables. If you know of a friend who could benefit from this video as well, please share it with them. Free resource for everybody. Alright, let's jump right into it. Okay, Adina is the business owner, and here's some information with regards to Adina's customer, Kai. Now, uh, let's look at what's happening in July. On the 1st of July, Kai had owes Adina 1,567. So this must be an opening balance from previous months. Uh, Adina then sold additional stuff to Kai at a list price, less a 15% trade discount. And then, you know, Kai returned some goods uh, and then Kai paid for some goods after some cash discount. Okay, so what's the first question? What is a trade discount and or why did Adina give a Kai a trade discount? So this is different from a cash discount and in these kind of questions, you have to be able to differentiate what a trade discount is versus a cash discount. Trade discount is always the one that encourages customers to buy more. So this is the one where, you know, if you go to a, I don't know, a shopping a supermarket and they say, oh, if you buy one, uh, you pay full price, but if you buy three, you get 10% discount, right? So Sim, uh, so stuff like that. So the the answer is to encourage purchase in higher quantities. Now the next thing is calculate the amount of trade discount on the fifth of uh, July. So this is quite straightforward. The list price is the original price. So list price is always no, is known as the original price, and less fifteen percent trade discount. So fifteen of the original price is the trade discount. So that's as simple as that, as straightforward as that. 942 is your answer. Now, next question is calculate the cash discount on July 28th. So let's see what's happening on July 28th. So Kai paid a check of 2425 and this is after deducting a cash discount of 3%. So 2425 is 97% of what Kai originally owed uh, Adina. And we are asked to calculate what the trade, uh, cash discount amount is. So you just take the uh, 2425, you divide it by 97%, you will get 100%. And then you less 2425 and you would get the answer of $75. Okay, so $75 is therefore 3%. All right. Or you can take, you know, 2425 divided by 97%, then you will get 100%. And... 2425 equals 2425 divided by 0.97 and this is 100%, 2500 is what Kai uh, or, uh, owes Erdina or owed Erdina and take to this one, multiply by 3%, you get the same answer, $75. So different ways to calculate this, okay? Um, next one, prepare the ledger account um, for uh, Kai in Erdina's books. Um, so I think, you know, based on this transaction in July, you need to know the double entry for each of this and then transfer that to the ledger account. Now, if you are, want to get better at double entries, there, I got a video on this and you can search for my video, uh, this title on my, uh, on my channel, uh, and that will give you some insights on journal entry and how it translates into ledger accounts. Okay, but let's go through this. Um, so I'll go through the journal entries for each of this. Uh, but let me just bring the transactions from the top down here. Let's bring it down so that for convenience purpose, we are able to see this. So the first uh, journal entry, uh, we have Erdina owes, uh, uh, Okai owes Erdina one five, uh, what, uh, this, this whatever amount, right? So let me kind of prepare this and this will therefore start with a balance brought down, right? One five. 76 and it's on the debit side and then on the 5th of july ardina sold goods to kai at 6280 less 15 percent and the double entry would be debit trade receivables credit sales uh because this sales is credit in nature and trade receivables is an asset is debit in nature so this transaction on july 5th would increase sales as well as trade receivables and if they are debit and credit in nature respectively then we have to debit and credit them respectively then kai return goods 1950 that were sold here as faulty and the values after taking into account the trade discount so it's just simply reversing the sales uh, entry by doing debit sales returns credit trade receivables right 
and then lastly Kai paid check right uh, after taking into account the discount so the double entry would be a few folds you receive 2425 in cash so that's debit cash at bank and you credit Kai 2500 which is the uh, full amount that we calculated earlier here uh, and then the discount would be the, the difference of $75 Right. or this amount you know is something that you calculated earlier as well discount allowed as an expense so expenses is debit in nature if you want to register higher discount as a result of this transaction you debit discount allowed now how do you transfer all these into ledger accounts so for the first item first item is since you debit trade receivables the number will fall on the debit side and the particulars will be sales the other side of the double entry so it will be sales revenues. I beg your pardon. This should be sales revenues. Okay, or sales revenue. And then uh, on July uh, 14, uh, you have debit sales returns and credit sales uh, trade receivables. So the tr the number in the trade receivables account will be on the credit side, and then the uh, description will be. The other side of the journal entry which will be sales returns and then you have a balance which is you know this 6950 less 1950 because this 1950 is credit side and this is a debit nature account next one uh you have two folds right uh credit to trade receivables is for the full amount 2500 but it's split into two particulars the first particular is cash at bank of 2425 that's what you receive and the next one is discount allowed right and then lastly to close off your um, Kai straight receivables account you bring it down as a uh, balance brought down for the first day of the following period okay so that's it now uh next one three reasons why checks would return would be returned to the by the bank as dishonored so this is a, a question is asking you hey, if for example kai paid you some some uh, a, a check but then uh you banked in the check and the check the bank said uh this check I, I can't give you the money for it because of what right so the question is asking you what the reasons could be so the first reason is kai didn't have sufficient funds in his bank account right or you know checks have you seen the check before go google it or it looks like it requires a signature from the pay uh, the payer and maybe the signature is just incorrectly done the, the the variation in the signature from the records of what the bank has the signature should be is so far out and that could be one reason as well and the last one is the date on the check could be for a much later date so if you know your check was received on the 28th of July but the check was dated maybe in December right uh, a few months later and you bank it now then the bank is not going to honor it they're only going to honor it after the date where uh, after the date indicated on check okay so that's it for this question hope it's been helpful for you uh if you guys have any questions please feel free to reach out uh, either via this channel or send me an email on poa at for you at gmail.com my email address is always on the top left hand corner of the sheets i work with all right take care for now